Welcome back to Photo Joseph's Q&A session. We are answering a bunch of questions from the comments over the last few weeks and breaking out each one individually. So this question right here is another awesome one, which I'm going to reference you to another website, which is a really, really great tool. So the question that came in from Joshua Zadalis is, I have a question about recording video with frame rates that are not fully divisible by 60 in the United States. Being that our lights flicker at 60 times a second, that's 60 hertz, I was wondering if you know of any good DC power converters so I can run my lights on DC power and not have lines in my video when recording at, say, 24, 25, and 50 FPS. So let me explain the problem here a little bit more before we get into the answer. You may have seen this before. You're shooting video and your lights, you're seeing a flicker. You're seeing a little wave of light. You, you may Not even the light itself, but just something in the scene is kind of waving by. What in the heck is that all about? And this is because your shutter angle or shutter speed are not in sync with the lights. The lights are flickering, right? Standard lighting, not LED lighting. Well, unless it's cheap LED lighting, but most lighting does not, uh, most lighting has a flicker to it imperceptible to the human eye, but it's there. And you actually, if you walk into a room that's got a, a bunch of crappy fluorescent tubes in them, you probably, especially if they're older ones, older, like towards dying tubes, you can probably see that flicker. If you're really kind of aware of it, you can see it. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. It's insane. Uh, but you don't want that showing up in your camera. So you need to adjust your shutter angle to match it. Now, when you're shooting in the US where we have um, uh, 60 Hertz frequency, 60 hertz power cycle, you're shooting at 29.97 or 59.94 frames per second, then that just magically coincides and it should work just fine. You shouldn't have to worry about it. You, what you can do is go into the manual, oh, and I was I'm gonna figure out where that is right now. I don't remember where I put it, but I'll find it. Uh, go into the manual mode and adjust the shutter angle or shutter speed, but it's better if you're shooting film to be shut, shutter angle and adjust it by very, very fine increments. So normally, so like here, let's let's take a quick look at the camera right now. Down in the bottom left, you see it says 216 degree. Let me go to 180 degree. That's your standard default. That's where you should be shutter, 180 degree shutter. But if I go down a little bit, it goes down to 120, and then it goes down to 108, and that's not enough. Like, what if I need 179 degrees? You know, how do I how do I get there? Well, that's what we're going to look at, and I I have to find it. Um, anyway, but what do you set it to? Well, there's two ways you can go about this. You can just look at the LCD and adjust that until the flicker goes away, or you can use an amazing resource built by RED, the RED, the camera company, to do this calculation for you. So go back to my computer here. The URL is at the bottom there, red.com slash tools slash flicker dash free dash video. If you don't got that yet, pause the video and you can grab that. Okay, welcome back. And let's just, uh, let's go to this link. Um, oh, did I? Oops, wrong one. You know what? I I guess I probably should have actually loaded this page before. Red tools, flicker free video. All right, let's go full screen here. And let's go red.com slash tools slash flicker free video. Hopefully that's right. Excellent. So you start off by choosing your power frequency. Let's make this a little bit bigger here. Um, so I'm shooting in North America. So it's a 60 Hertz. So you can choose up between 60 and 50. And I want to shoot at, let's just start by setting this to 5994 standard frame per second. The accurate shutter angle for shooting at 59.94 is actually just down a little bit. It's 177 degree or 354 degree shutter, or if you're doing shutter speeds, 120th or 160th. So the 60th, the 160th, if you're shooting in um, shutter speed, then that actually is easier. Just set it to 160th. But if you're going to do it in shutter angle, then it's actually a little bit down from 180. It's 177. If you're shooting at true 60p, but you aren't, then it says use anything. But you're not shooting at 60. You're shooting at 59.94. So he wanted to know shooting at 24. Well, here's this is kind of Cool. Let's go native 24. Native 24 is also use any. However, let's go to 25. And here you go. If you're going to shoot at 25 frames per second, your safe shuttle angles are 75, 150, or 225. Corresponding shutter speeds 120th, 160th, 140th, and so on. And then the other, what was the other? Uh, the other shutter speed he said, oh, 50. So 50 is going to be the same as 25, I do believe, right? If we do 50, calculate, I don't know, 150th or 300 degree, 120th, 160th. So there's how you do that. So this resource, red.com slash tools slash flicker free video is your friend for this. I've used this. Uh, it's magic because you're looking at this scene. You're like, oh, the flicker. Oh, I got it. Wait, punch it in, get the angle. <laughs> Boom, done. And there it is. So, and of course, if you're shooting with the same ones all the time, you're not going to need to calculate it. You'll remember 177 degree, that's the shutter to be at. Okay, so how do we set that in the camera? Um, let's take a look. 
So give me just a moment here to figure out where this is. What you're looking for is on the top menu here, the very first menu item, the creative movie mode. So you have to be in movie mode. This does not work when you're in the standard still shooting mode. First, let's take a look at the shutter speed or gain operation. You can choose between seconds and ISO. That's your standard shutter speed and ISO or angle and ISO, which is how I prefer to work in video or seconds and um, uh, uh, decibel, not decibel, uh, oh, for crying out loud, what's that called again? DBs, whatever those are called. Why am I? It is decibel. Okay. Not my world. Anyway, angle and ISO is what I like to shoot at. So now you go up to synchro scan and you can turn that on. And now that that's on, you'll see that I have single degree increments for my shutter speed. And I believe, in fact, yep, we can do that when we're just in the regular mode here. You see, I can now set this to whatever shutter angle I want. So let me see if, I don't know if I can get this to repro. No, I can't because these are all LED lights in here and it's being converted to 24p. It wouldn't show on the screen anyway for you. Um, but that is where that is. So that's what you want to do. You want to go to the Red website, look up the appropriate shutter angle, and dial that in here, and your flicker problems should go away. All right, we've got another question or two to hit on. So uh, if you're watching this not live, click on the button that's going to pop up in just a moment here, and that will take you to the next question.